this is Marion Thornton calling. Hey, Marion, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. What you got to share with me? I'm so excited to tell you that we're opening the show, Death of a Salesman, this Friday night, March the 8th. Mm-hmm. Runs through March 17th at the Epic Center. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sydney Ellis is playing Willie Loman, and I'm playing his wife, Linda Loman, and Buddy Hannah is the director, so we are very excited to be opening. This show is going to be fantastic. Yeah, well, I tell you what, uh, we're looking forward to that, and uh, I know it's going to be a good performance because I've seen you in rehearsal, girl, and uh, you, 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 you ready, ain't you? I'm ready. I'm ready to go. All right, you're ready to go. Now, when is this opening? It opens this Friday, March the 8th, at okay. the Epic Center, 359. 359 South Burdick on the Kalamazoo Mall. Okay. All right. We're going to be looking forward to everything. All right. Uh, and we will be giving away some, some tickets here to that uh, production. So uh, okay. stay tuned. All right. Thanks a lot, right. Mary. Appreciate it. No problem. See you later, buddy. All right. 349-1660. If you got something to share with us, y'all better share it real quick because uh, uh, we're going to be moving around along. Well, as promised, we do have in the studio with us uh, several members of the cast of Death of the Salesman that will be opening on March the 8th uh, at the Epic Center, downtown Kalamazoo. Uh, showtime is 8 o'clock, and uh, we are fortunate enough to have with us today. Uh, we have Javon Vincent, who will be playing uh, one of Willie Loma's son. He will be playing Happy. We also have uh, Mark Wilson, who... Uh, it's playing the other son, uh, Biff, and we have with us B.B. White, no stranger to some of you, you know, sharing it with B.B. Yes, I'm talking about that, y'all, but she will be playing the woman, okay? Yeah, now I know you're talking about, what's the woman? What Willie's lady, in <laughs> other words. Yeah, Willie's Willie, lady. lady, you know, so, so that's how we want to put it, Willie's lady, but you have to come see it, because she's sassy, y'all. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. I'll try not to get into my director mode today. I'll stay in my radio <laughs> interview mode. So so I won't slip into director mode. They look and go like, okay, is he going to go into that director mode? Like, no, I'm not. Today I'm strictly sticking with the radio thing. Uh, first of all, uh, let's talk a little bit about the play. Uh, Javon, you uh, came in as a late addition to the play, but uh, your willingness to be a part of this, what drew you to this uh, play? I just like the fact, you know, just to do the arts, period. Mm-hmm. You know, I started out as a singer-songwriter, but, you know, I'm an actor as well, you know. Mm-hmm. But just uh, just learning that play is happy. It's like a big role, a huge role, you know. It took me about two weeks just to learn it, so mm-hmm. it's pretty good. I, I just enjoy your support and everything, you know. Okay, okay. Now, Mark, this is, uh, is this your first time, right? This is. Yeah, this is your first time. Now, you got a huge role, too, as, as one of the, the main sons, Bill. Uh, what, what 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 are you finding about the play that you you, you you find about first of all what do you find about yourself in dealing with this this, this trying to challenge of being an actor uh, well you know just learning the script you know trying to rememorize my lines uh, staying off book you know once I get the book out of my hand you know that's um, that's where I really start acting so mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it and um Ready for the challenge. Okay. Now, B.B., you're no stranger to the stage. We, we know that you've uh, uh, appeared in several productions and as well as you host your own show. Uh, but what is it about this play that you felt that will you uh, drew you to this play? Well, being um, the the woman, the woman on the side is exciting and uh, what is it? You're every wife's nightmare but every man's fantasy. (laughs) Hey, what can I say? I love the entertainment. I love uh, being, I just love entertainment, love being on the stage, love being on television. I just love it. Mm -hmm. And I'm enjoying this. I enjoy all the rehearsals. And it's great. You got to come out and see it, guys. It's going to be great. I am Willie Loman's lady on the side and um if you know i've been down at the radio station with willie loman's two sons biff and happy and i've been sitting back there they know that these two guys don't like me you know and you know <laughs> this is a trip you guys got to come out and see this play woman i heard you took my mama's stocking though 
Look, your, <laughs> look, your dad bought me those stockings. They were for me. Was, Thank you I very much. I was knocking much. on the door for five minutes and no one answered. No, Biff, the next time when you drop in on your father at the hotel, can you please call? Because I'm taking care of him. So you need to call first. Thank you so much. That's your no confidence, Biff. <laughs> you, <laughs> you will see all of this unfold uh, as the play progress. Uh, now, this play originally, uh, the, the play is written by Arthur Miller who is a non-African American. The play basically is a non-African American uh, thing. What, what, what did you find uh, as, as some of the challenges in terms of staging this play and doing it in its original piece? Just the certain things that you say like, uh, gee, <laughs> <laughs> or um, buddy, or you know, something like, you know, different, you know, different lingos like back in the, it's like back in the 1950s. Whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it's just having that mindset of thinking, Thinking that time era or whatever, you know, I had to change my head a little bit just to like think, ah, oh, Harlem Renaissance, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. break it down a little bit. What about you? What, what, what were some of the challenges you th you faced? Yeah, it was pretty much the same thing, uh, saying G, calling my mom pal. I mean, I never would call my mom pal, but, um, you know, those are some of the things, uh, just the way I... Pretty much just the talking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. what, what, what about you, uh, um, The funny part about being in a slip and they sing, oh, you're naked, please. A slip. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Back then, you were naked That's if you right. had a slip on. Exactly, yeah. And now, naked is naked Naked now. is naked. <laughs> naked is naked. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> um, in, in terms of, of the, the entire cast itself, uh, I know you, you, you start out not knowing people and uh, you start out working with them and everything, but over the period of time, how have the cast, you felt the cast has come together and how you feel about the cast? Man, we're like a big family right now. Mm -hmm. We really are, just truly. Um, it was a, It's been a great experience so far just to meet everybody and just have a good time. And, you know, we have a lot, we share a lot of laughs, whatever, just to crack up a couple jokes or whatever. But it's been, you know, at the end of the day, real professional and very hardworking. Work, work ethics was very good. Like, we even, like, rehearsed during the weekend. You know, we, mm -hmm. you know, we rehearsed every single day. But we want this to be a great show for y'all. So I want everyone to come out and support this. Support this. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what about you, Biff? <laughs> <laughs> so the old confidence, Biff. <laughs> well, being this my first time, uh, you know, the cast members, they really took me in. They uh given me a lot of pointers. Like uh, my younger brother, Happy, says they helped me all along the weekend. I mean, Sundays, Saturdays, even when we're not supposed to rehearsal. So I really do appreciate and, uh, you know, watch out for Biff. Uh, he's something to see. <laughs> what, what about you, Vivi? Well, I'm excited, and like um, they said, once the rehearsal is over, everybody, we feel like family, That's you right. know? This, I mean, tomorrow we're going to eat together. We know we're going to have dinner together, so it's exciting. And even though Willie Loman's sons don't like me, I really love these guys, you know? Uh, I love, I really love uh, these guys, where's you a, know? Where's my mama's stockings? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now, we are laughing in here and everything, but uh, really this play is not uh, a comedy play. It is a very serious play because it speaks in terms of a lot of things that uh, yes. we all can relate to. That's why uh, we decided to do this play, not as uh, African Americans, but as actors doing a good play that happened to be African American. Okay, let's talk about the director a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> no, we don't want to talk about him. I don't even want to hear what they got to say about him. But um, what, in, in closing, what, what, what would you like to say to the people about the play or uh, anything in, in, in related to the play? Come through, support, support. Everyone's here. We're working very hard here. We're working very hard in this woman here. Man, where's my mama's stockings? Where's my mama's stockings? They can come out. I need to know. I need There's to know. There's a lot for you guys to see. You're going to see a lot. Who killed Willie Loman? Who killed Willie Loman? <laughs> Uh, one th one other thing, uh, we like like everyone says, we've been putting in a lot of hard work, uh, you know, sleepless nights reading the script. So we're definitely going to give you guys our uh, best effort. So we really would appreciate if you guys would come out and support us. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we've been rehearsing for the last past six weeks, and we really want you to come out. Um, it means a lot to us, and we are going to give you a good show. Support local. Support local. Support local. Well, I can attest to the fact that you all have been working hard. You have been putting in 
uh, the serious work and is showing in, in, in terms of what you're putting together. And next week, starting with Touch Night, the people <laughs> will, will begin to see this. Yes, so, yeah. definitely. And uh, I uh, come out of my uh, radio mode for a minute to go into my director's mode and want to say thank you very much for you, are welcome. Uh, you know, thank being, you, being thank good you. It's been a treat. to work with. It's you been know, a treat. Uh, it's been wonderful. You know, it's. It's always a pleasure that when you get to that point where everybody, you've established those relationships and you feel comfortable with the people you're working with and we can move forward and we did that and, uh, you know, uh, BB was with us the first time when we had to postpone this, so we had yes. several people that are uh, stuck with us. Yes. Uh, BB, 12 was, weeks yeah, to be exact. Yeah, we were 12 weeks and then we had, we because she's been with us for the first of, of the time and uh, uh, so have uh, uh, Arnold Labar, I think he was with us the first time. And uh, Miriam? Mary Linda, was, uh, yes. She was with us yes. the first time. Tim Dorla, Baker. huh? Tim, Tim no, Tim was with us the first time, but he didn't come back the second time. But these people came back the second time. He couldn't come back the second time. Anyway. Yeah, we give Tim a shout out anyway, because he know could write it. <laughs> 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 but uh, some of the other cast members are Sid Ellis in the lead role, uh, Marion uh, Thornton in uh, the lead role of Linda. Then we have Dorla uh, Bonner, who is uh, the. Uh, the Miss Foresight. Miss Foresight. Yeah, yes. yeah. Scoodle. Scoodle's coming. Scoodle's coming. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have our yeah, Carolyn yeah. Mitchell uh, <laughs> and John Davis and uh, what's Jamiri? Jamiri, is it Beth Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think Jamiri Beth A. Uh, Alvary uh, Ben. Uh, and he's playing Charlie. He's playing Charlie. Charlie. The, yes, the uh, and who else are we leaving out here, man? Terrence Browning. Terrence Browning. Yeah. yeah. Stanley. Yeah. Stanley. Yeah. Stanley. Yeah. Stanley. So champagne. Yes. And what about Lexon? Howard. Oh, oh Howard. Howard. Yes. Uh, that's Arnold. Arnold Lebar. Okay. Yeah, playing <laughs> Howard. Yes, so yeah. definitely. And then we want to uh, give a shout out to our stage manager, right. uh, uh, Vince and uh, uh, Pat Taylor. They're great. Uh, they're they're great. great. Yes, give them a hand. That's they right. are great. They, they own are, the case. So, are, no, well, really listen, funny. we really do thank y'all for stopping by. Uh, I know that uh, you're not rehearsing today, but I know you don't have a day off from, from on that script. <laughs> uh, never, never. <laughs> yeah, so uh, any final words? I just want to say I'm looking forward to seeing you on March the 8th, and Touch Night is on March 7th, so we will look for you at 8 o'clock p.m. Be there and don't be square. Ah. I'm just looking for everyone to come on out. Uh, we're going to put on a great show. Find out who killed Willie Loman. <laughs> <laughs> Woman. <laughs> oh, look. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm taking care of your daddy boy. <laughs> oh, my God. See, they have it for up in here now. But come out and please see the play. It is not a comedy. It is a, an American tragedy. But we enjoy ourselves doing it. And that's one of the parts of our theater, uh, being and enjoying the people that you work with. So you owe it to yourself to come out and see it. Uh, the play opens up. Uh, Friday, March 8th, and Touch Night is March 7th. Uh, we'll be giving away some tickets, and I think T. Rob will be giving away some tickets on his show. So, uh, I tell you what, uh, Double A, you do a little something, and then we'll come back and close this. And the show opens for public viewing on March 8th. Please come out and support that production, directed by none other than Mr. Buddy Hanna. Keep it locked right here, 95.5 and 15.6 of the Touch. We will be back after the break.